$700 billion. That is the yearly budget for the US Army. But where do all of these hundreds of billions of dollars go? Of course, some of it goes on boring things like food and boots for the soldiers. But most of it goes on futuristic, expensive, and amazing military machines. I'm Charlie, and today we're going to look at the most expensive military machines. But before we boot up, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have P8A Poseidon. Poseidon was the Greek god of the sea, but I think even this Greek god would have a tough time fighting the P-8A Poseidon. The total cost of this program is $33 billion. Now, this plane is supposed to be a surveillance plane, but don't let that harmless description fool you. It comes jam-packed with mines, missiles, and torpedoes. In fact, there are so many weapons inside it that the original wings of this plane had to be changed as they weren't heavy enough. Of course, this plane also has cameras that can see through anything. Really, these heat-seeking cameras can see bodies even when they're underground. The plane is gigantic and is three times the size of a normal commercial plane. It also has harpoon anti-ship missiles. These are missiles that can be launched at expensive naval machines. Next up is Talos. We all love the Iron Man movies, and I'm sure many of us have wished we could have our very own Iron Man suit. Well, if you join the United States Special Operations Command Force, you may be able to get one. That's because some soldiers in that force have what's known as a Talos. Talos stands for Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, and it's basically a robotic exoskeleton developed by the US Army. The suit comes with many advantages, for example, super strength. And I really mean that the impact of any load is distributed throughout your entire body's weight. This means you can carry more things than ever before. There are also night vision and infrared goggles built into the suit. And in the helmet, there's also a headset and microphone. And there's even a virtual reality sensor built in so you can see how a mission's going to look before really doing it. The program is said to cost around $80 million and that's only for a few suits. But apparently in the future, the USA will spend $20 million per year developing this program. Next up is AMX-56 Leclerc. The AMX-56 is the most expensive tank in the world. The tank was a collaboration between the Army of France and the United Arab Emirates. Each tank will set you back $28 million and it was named after a French WW2 general. The tank has a 12 meter cannon which can muster 40 rounds. There's also an 8 meter machine gun that can shoot off 3000 rounds. And the tank can drive at max speeds of 45 miles per hour. That may not sound like much, but for a tank, that's crazy fast. Next up is Trident 2. We all know about the Trident missiles. They're very controversial as they're so powerful, but they're used in the USA and the UK. The missile is a ballistic target which can be launched from a submarine. It goes at speeds of 13,000 miles per hour. And it's also never been used because it's armed with nuclear warheads. This means if they were ever to be used, we would be in a state of nuclear war. The USA and UK have spent a combined $60 billion on this system. And if it's ever used anywhere near the country you live in, then you'll be wiped out. As you can see on this map, if this missile hit the middle of the USA, here's how you would be affected. Basically, what I'm showing here is the range of this very, very powerful missile. Next up is Super Hornet. The FA-18EF Super Hornet is one of the best planes in the whole USA Air Force. Many of these are stationed on aircraft carriers around the world. The plane's equipped with a 2 meter cannon, which can fire at any plane or boat. There's also encompassing air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-ground missiles, and even super-accurate laser-guided missiles. Just one of these can cost around $80 million. And right now, the USA has around 650 of these. Next up is JLTV. JLTV stands for a Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. Basically, this is the most powerful and tough car you will ever see. The program has cost around $2 billion. And this vehicle is stronger, faster, and lighter than a Humvee. The trucks weigh around 14,000 pounds each. They can go on the snow thanks to the chains on their tires. And they're also blast and bulletproof. It goes at a top speed of 70 miles an hour, which is super fast. And it can be used as a utility vehicle, a shelter, or an ambulance. 
And if you think Lamborghinis cost a lot, just one of these cars costs half a million dollars. Next up is CVN78 Carrier. This is probably the biggest piece of machinery on this list. And that's because it's an aircraft carrier. Just one of these cost 10 billion dollars. And it's actually the single most expensive military weapon in the world. Right now there's only three in the world as the cost is so much. The total size measures around 4.5 acres and it weighs more than 100,000 tons. It can house more than 75 aircraft and it also has gigantic Sea Sparrow missiles throughout. Next up is Arle Burke DDG-51 Destroyer. This is the most expensive navy ship in the world. In fact, one of these cost $2 billion. But the total cost of this program has been over $100 billion. This ship is much more maneuverable than other warships as it's small and fast. And it was actually made to protect bigger ships from missiles. That's why this ship has lots of anti-aircraft missiles on it. It also has guided missiles and anti-surface missiles. And for strategic purposes, Tomahawk missiles too. There's also a 5 inch cannon which can fire torpedoes and also a mine detector on board as well. All of these functions means it can be used in many roles. And it's also said to be a favourite of US Navy commanders. Next up is F-35 Lightning II. This aircraft is infamous for how much it's been costing. It's expected that soon the USA will have spent 1.5 trillion on this aircraft. This is because they've been using them for about five and a half decades. And they've also bought so many of them as they're said to be so effective. F-35s can fulfill many roles because they're very stealthy. They can reach supersonic speeds and have stealth sensors built in. One single F-35 Lightning II can cost a hundred million dollars. And it can go at a top speed of 1.6 Mach, which converts to 1,200 miles per hour. The planes are actually so fast that when they're in the air flying at top speeds, you can't see them with the human eye. And finally on the list, we have Virginia class submarine. This naval submarine cost $89 billion. That's for the entire program cost and the US Navy have many of these. It's a nuclear powered submarine which is meant for firing missiles at targets. It can operate near to shores as well as in the open ocean. And it comes with a wide range of very scary add-ons. These include mines, torpedoes and Tomahawk missiles. If we ever have a WW3, expect to see many of these out on the open sea. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Do you think we'll ever have WW3 or will we have world peace? Vote in the poll in the top right corner and let me know. If you want to see some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.